Good morning, everybody. Painblade back here again from Server One, representing ISC and Tribes Lab. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, this new event, Laboratory of the Abyss, um, it's quite not like flashback technology. I know everybody wanted it to be like that, but this is actually a killer event for two very mediocre, and I mean very mediocre units. Um, just for you guys. To know, uh, I pulled both at four stars. If you haven't watched my summon video, you're aware of that. But um, Chio is probably the worst. You are so I'm, I've been telling everybody to skip her. Uh, if you don't know why, if you if you want to inquire why, please hit me up on Discord or contact me through uh, through the comments, and I'll tell you why. Her kit is atrocious. She's got nothing special about her. Um, Sakura, on the other hand, is actually much better. So she does she can't fit in some teams. But Chio, I've, I've been wrapping my head around how the heck I can put her in anything, and I really can't. But as a collector, you know what? I have them, and I, I always plan to get everybody, no matter how good or bad they are. But nonetheless. Uh, what I think the flashback technology event was when everybody got the master one completed at the 999,000 power level uh, was probably an error on Bandai's part. I, I've always said from the beginning, I think that it was meant to be a graded event, not S ever, but between F to, to B or A. I don't think anyone was ever supposed to finish it, but I think a programmer got fired recently because he didn't mess that up. And the real programmer, who's probably Hitler's son, decided to come in and create this craziness for us. Um, and I'm going to show you why. Um, I've hit I've hit like a lot of the whales. I've hit level the stage 30, which is the last stage actually. Um, 28 was already hard enough. And what happens, guys, is every second stage is a reward. So you do a stage and then you get a reward and then it's the next stage. So 28 is the la second last stage. Um, and I'm going to go through the strat with you guys on how I beat it and what the best way to go about beating it is for you. I just helped a few other people finish it off. Um, there is a specific strategy you want to follow. But for 30, it is it is next to impossible. Now, what makes this even harder, and I'm just like rolling my eyes right now really hard, is the fact that the HP on these enemies resets every day. So I think I've got the biggest, most complete roster of anybody in the game. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, and with that being said, let's just like look at the roster, right? Now, I've got, as you can see here, I've got pretty much... Most shinobis, at least half of my shinobis are at least in the 300 power range. So, and then we're starting at the 200 power range. I mean, then we go down to the hundreds. Those are useless. So those are like bait, bait uh, characters you want to use. Now this is very much like Tower of Eternity, where you want to send in your weaker characters um, to to get their tribe special up for you, and then to have the opponent waste theirs. The problem is when you start getting up to the 24 to the 20 to the 30 ones. They hit so hard that your your actual weaker characters will die in one shot, and you're, all you're doing is helping them build a tribe to kill your other guy. One hint I will tell you guys is you can reset this by resetting the game mid-fight or through. The game does bug, so if that does happen, shout out to Lee for figuring this out. Go into a standard mission or elite mission, do the manual fight, but then just skip it, and then it'll, it'll actually reset the whole game, and you can retry without all, any of the bugs. Because what was happening yesterday was uh, I was doing level 28 and I did the reset just to retry it. And then uh, it allowed B and I to do tribes every turn for eight turns straight and took out my entire team. And I was just like, I was, I did it 15 times, guys, and it continued doing it. So I couldn't figure out what was going on, but Lee figured it out. So shout out to Lee for that. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, today is I'm going to go through level 28 strat and then I'm going to show you guys level 30 and I'm actually going to attempt it. So I did attempt it right now with my weakest team. Luckily, I actually was able to get one of their duo tribes off. So I have a full tribe. They don't. I don't think my tribe's going to do anything, to be quite honest with you. So I'm not going to use tribes. I'm not a big fan of tribes. I'm going to use co-op with stuns. But I want to go over level through 28. So for uh, free-to-play players, I apologize. Bandai's craziness here. Um, you guys are not going to finish this level 30. I promise you. Like this is There is no F2P player that has the power level as a whale even. And whales are struggling with this. So because the HP resets, free-to-play, your best bet is to get to 28 and stop there. Or... Somehow, if you have 390 plus power, finish 28, and there's a specific strat I've been using and I've been telling people. So at level 28, you've got six opponents. You've got B, I, Daryu, then you have Kakashi, Sasuke Hebi, and Tsunade. So your, your three biggest threats here are Tsunade, Sasuke Hebi, and Kakashi, not B, I, and Daryu. And the reason why they're not a threat is because you actually want them to do their tribe. You don't want a co-op going off because a co-op will actually kill three of your characters, they will continue using B and I tribe, which is two characters using a full turn to do a single target kill. So you want them to use their tribe. So do not kill B and I. You leave them last, okay? Or at least second last. So what the order of kill operation here is Tsunade first, so you can avoid the chakra grain and healing. 
Uh, she does quite a bit of healing and chakra green. And then the second thing you want to kill is you want to kill Kakashi because his jutsu is way too powerful and he buffs himself completely for the whole fight. Then you want to kill Hebi. So Sasuke. So those are the three orders. Tsunade, uh, Kakashi, Sasuke, Hebi. And then you want to kill B. And then you want to kill I. And you leave Daryu for last. Make sure, guys, you do that order. And remember, if it's not going well, reset the game. If it's buggy, do a standard mission or elite mission. Skip the turn after you get into it as a manual fight. And then you can start your fight over again. The key to this fight, guys, at 28, is you want stuns. You don't want to stun the tribe as much because you don't want a co-op to go off. But actually, no, I apologize. You want to stun everything. <laughs> uh, if you stun, 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 and they keep taking their turn, they will continue to keep trying to use their tribe. And that's the goal here. Do not kill B. Do not kill I. Make sure they're alive at least to the last second or third. All right? Now, when you finish that, you're going to come into this hellhole. This is, like, honestly, Chio looks like she is a zombie ready to eat my soul. Uh, and that's how I feel about this level. So what I've done is, as you can see here, they've got <laughs> over a million power. Um, so I've sent in my bait team to use their tribe. I'm about to show you guys the actual fight. So this time around, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my good team. And what I want to do here is I'm going to set it up, right? We're going to set up my good team. So we're going to go Kakashi. We're going to go Dadera. Where are you? Oh, you're somewhere. There you are. Okay. And we're going to use Naruto. Now, the reason why I set up that team is I have two stuns. One AoE, crit suppression, and of course Naruto for the damage. Now, for this team, we're going to set up um, Rock Lee in the middle. We're going to keep Kirin there. And we're going to go Naruto Kage, so that's fine. And then last team, I want to do Sakura, Hebi, and Gara. Now, realistically, order doesn't matter. This is not like a PvP fight. This is literally like a PvE fight where you're going to end up just using random rotations. The reason why I'm setting it up this way, just for my own sanity, I like to keep things organized. But the reason why I have this team set up, guys, is I have two stuns on top, I have one stun in the bottom, um, and then I have uh, and I have two tanks there, so just to survive. And then the reason why I want to keep Kieran alive mostly is because um, they're the, the biggest threat in this team, in my opinion, is the Dara and um, uh, Sakura, the new Sakura Blossom because she she heals for 100k and raises her tribe gauge, so you want to take her out as soon as possible. So. Um, Stuns, of course, everywhere. You want stuns all over the place. Healing, not that important. Your heals aren't going to do enough, realistically, to, to keep you alive in this fight. So let's just jump into it, guys. I'm going to show you what's going on. As you can see here, they've got a million. I've got 428. So, I mean, it's it's probably going to be a fail here. I am not going to reset, by the way. This is my attempt for the day. Um, so if this goes well, then hey, great. If it doesn't, then you guys can see how hard this is and how, how crazy Bandai is for making this event. But I, I truly believe that this was their original intent for the genealogy as well. They never wanted it to be beatable. Um, but hey, you know what? Let's give it a go. Oh, jeez. Sakura's already got her full health. This is, See, this is not good. So the problem with sending in a bait team, as you can see already, they've already got full bars on everything. So I'm about to probably lose a few characters here uh, right from the get-go, which is a really bad way to start. But uh, let's just see what happens. Yeah, here we go. Naruto dead already. And that is a buffed up Naruto Kage, by the way. Um, and as you can see, she just used her special, so her tribe gate just boosted up. So realistically, this didn't help at all. Uh, you know what? So um, let's just go through with it. It doesn't matter at this point. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be beating this today. Uh, this is just more for, for showcase, guys. I'm actually, my real attempt will be tomorrow. Um, I'm probably going to lose everybody here as well, too. So for the sake of my sanity, let's see if I can do a little bit of guard right, guard right up and survive now remember this is a pretty like i have a really good team um this may kill naruto nope naruto survived that's good uh i don't even have a, a way to do a special so that kind of sucks let's see if sasuke gets his paralyzed at least yeah he does okay so what i want to do here is i'm going to try to stop the aoe from happening let's see if that's possible even and then i have nope okay so i'm gonna lose naruto i may lose actually more than that yeah just that he's gone Yep. Yeah, as you guys can see, this is going to be pretty impossible to finish. Um, yeah, so here goes their special. Let's see if I can stop it somehow. Nope. 
So Gar is paralyzed. Um, I don't know if I can really do much here right now, guys. Let's, uh, let's for the sake of it, just keep going. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stun anybody here. But as you can see, um, this is, this is I, again, this is really for showcase for you guys, just to see how impossible this is. Uh, and again, because everybody recovers their HP, um, this is going to be even harder. So what I, might, what I might do tomorrow, honestly, is actually attempt a real try with my real team and not, not do this whole um, send in a bait team. Because I, I don't think bait teams are going to work at this, with this battle. Uh, it just seems like um, this is built to avoid that because of the healing and the tribe gauge special that Sakura can do. Um, now, she might actually be pretty good for this battle if you have her, but you've got to really get her buffed up before, and I don't think anyone's going to have the ability to do that right now. So let's see what happens here. I feel like I'm going to lose somebody. Nope. See that Gara's guard rate up really helps in this in this fight, obviously. Um, I'm going to keep trying to stun the Dara. See if I can at least take him out. Naruto's going to be attacking next, so he's not that big of a deal. If I can just keep them stunned, there we go. That'll block that. I mean, honestly, I might actually be able to do this if I really tried. I probably should reset this fight, but at this point, it's too late. Um, this is, again, just a showcase for you guys. But you know what? Tomorrow, honestly, I will attempt this, and I won't be recording it, but I will maybe show you guys the results at the end if I do finish it. Um, but at the moment, it looks like this is going to be a, uh, a bust on my end. Um, bu -bu -bu. Let's just do... Sasuke's attacking, so you know what? I might just do this on the Dara just to give myself a buff. The reason why I'm using Gara, guys, is because I want to make sure that I get the guard rate buff and guard damage buff up. This might actually help some of my guys survive. Oh, never mind. That was unexpected. I thought Sasuke was going to attack. Kakashi's dead. Okay. Eh, you know what? That's not the worst thing. I can afford a dead Kakashi. Now, here goes the tribe. Now, I don't think I have a chance to stun. So, let's just do... Oh, this is going to be rough. Okay, let's just do Sakura for the sake of doing Sakura. Or, I mean, uh, Rock Lee, sorry. Um, he's going to do almost no damage to Sakura here. Being a D unit. 129. Okay, it's not too bad. Someone's going to die for sure. Sorry, I'm speeding through this. You, some of you probably want to see that special and all, but I'm, uh, I'm just showing you guys the stage. There we go. Actually, you know what I might do, guys, honestly, is I might not finish this up. Hey, guys, so I decided actually to um, to reset. Um, I'm going to actually take a real att attempt here, but I, this is this showcase was to show you guys how hard this level is. So as you can see, everyone's dead here. Um, but what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to send in my B squad in next. Uh, I'm not going to showcase it, though. I'm just going to send them in. I'm going to try to battle them again. Then I'm going to send my real team in again and see if I can at least pick off some more damage on them. Uh, but as you can see, I think this is going to be next to impossible for everybody. Uh, I'd be shocked if anybody can finish this. And if you can, honestly, kudos to you. You're an amazing player and you've got a great squad. But uh, I'm going to continue trying uh, on my own here. But uh, I hope this video helped you guys understand why I said in the beginning yesterday. And a lot of people were, were like, oh, no, no, it would be possible. I'm telling you, free to play, impossible to finish this event, which sucks for Bandai. You guys suck for doing this to people. Uh, and then for whales, even, Jesus, like, we're even in a predicament where I don't think we're going to be able to finish it. And uh, quite honestly, I'm okay with that, considering it's just Chio and, and Sakura. But this is, this is the, the path they're going to be taking going forward. Um, with all the characters, it's going to be really tough. So guys, you may need to start raising your squad up outside of your main nine if this is how it's going to go. Uh, but outside of that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry that Bandai decided to screw us all over at the end of it all, but uh, you know what? If you if you are free to play, skip this banner. You're not missing anything, honestly. Even as whales, if you're just collecting, then go for it, obviously, like I do. But uh, if you if you're debating on to go for it or not. I suggest not to personally. So with that being said, guys, this is Payne. Have a wonderful day. I'm actually, stay tuned. I'm going to be making a vitality video in terms of how to level vitality properly, in terms of what uh, levels of vitality should go to for each character. Um, so that is something I want to cover. A lot of people have been asking questions. If you have access to my spreadsheet, which is, a, there's a link always to every single description, go into that description. And I've added a uh, vitality skill one and vitality skill three tab with every shinobi and their skills and what level you should put them at. And then the levels are increments of zero, 10, and 20. Um, and for everybody just to know, your second vitality and fourth vitality on every character, if you're going to be using them, should always be maxed. There's no questions about it, level 20. Um, so we will go through that as well today as a video, guys. And I may do limit breaks tomorrow uh, on the new ones and cover that as well. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay, you know, stay safe out there with COVID, obviously. And um, stay safe with this disgusting disease of, a, of an event that we have because uh, Bandai is just here to torture us. 
Anyways, enjoy your day, guys.